Yeah, it looks good. All right, so for the session, do you want to be guided or you want to do your own thing? We talk about it after. Oh, uh, guide me probably. Okay, you're probably gonna start. Uh, probably just start bot side and path top. All right. I don't know that I mean Top's a tank, but since I have a Fiora, if you get an early kill Top, it's pretty good and he has no flash, so pretty easy to kill. Alright. And bot lane shooter to stabilize. To try to clear to your best ability, I try to be as efficient as possible and try to save as many seconds as you can, like pulling and cutting your caps. Let's go to his right right now, just drop a ward. You can actually delay it probably to like 52. I recall at like 52 seconds. Alright. So you either drop a word of raptors or red. In higher t elo, typically Maokai just solos raptors, but in low elo, there's a chance he might start a red by sweeper. That's great. I'm like actually getting chunked hard. You should be fine. Their level one's really weak because you just only have Ezreal Nautilus mid jungler quite weak. You reset anyways. Hit the blast in like 122 or 123 on your left. Actually, sorry, 124. What does that do? Oh, it's for your passive for more DPS. Oh, okay. Stack. It's fine though. It's like 126, I think. Is mid lane gankable? Camera towards mid. No, it's not go goals. Camera towards top. Is fear retreating? Somewhat, yeah. You probably just full clear this game anyways. Uh, make sure you wait for your spell rotation. You don't want to use your W that early. Like my passive? Like when you QE, auto, auto, and then use your W afterwards. You don't QE, W. Hey. Yeah, auto one more time. W now, there you go. Camera towards top lane. When your spells are down. I think you just you go top after blue. Just smite this and go top. Oh he's dead, never mind. Just do you can invade his Krugs maybe now? Or actually yes it's dead. Well you have to like make your play right at this point. It's either you invade or you just wait for the crab. Mid lane's dead, is he low? No, just the crab I guess. Just no, it's too late to invade. So if you have issues with me like giving you Details I want to do, just make your own play. You don't have to listen to me, and we'll talk about it later. Cause no, I, no. I don't want to see you walk back and forth. Fight this. Okay, don't fight this. Good or Grump. You're walking into their team. It's not the worst. Mm. Sturdy or Crux from base? Oh, That's tough. Camera towards bot while your spells are down, so it's having bot lane. Was Narlus is HP. You don't know, right? Because your camera's in bot. You're asking, you're not. Okay, there we go. Oh, you can counter gank bot. Counter gank? This is good. Just go behind them. Go in, go in the lane. Go in the lane. Oh, I guess Narlus or Marco walk this one, anyways.
W almost. Do you want Nashers this game? Uh, I don't know when to like go demonic and when to go Nashers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, I mean, oh, honestly, like any like, other build. I go Nashers, Riftmaker, if you can auto a lot. In this game, you can't auto a lot, but it's, demonic is just so much better. Probably, I guess you can get like the red item now instead. Okay. Is mid lane low? Camera like when your can when your spells are off. If it's just look, like, he's not low at all. I'm asking you to go. I'm asking like, is he low? Because like, he's getting pinged. So like, if you see an angle, you maybe look. Because there's no way this guy ever uses this pool to trade. So. Oh, what? Okay, his ball enters top slot after this camp. Alright, camera towards top while you walk, camera towards mid. Alright, nothing really happening. Mid might get dove though, I don't know if you can actually prevent that. No, you're not, you're not supposed to do your W like that. Just Q E, auto auto, and then use your W. Mm. Spells down. Where's your camera? Why is it on top of yourself? Look at top lane. He's one HP. Go kill him. They're gonna lose bot. Would you say Nashes? Oh uh, sure. So, I mean, you already built the items for it, so yeah. What are your runes? Control C. Okay, well, there's a problem with your buy. If you're on the map after 945, or if you got a kill and resist, then you're gonna be wasting your boot slot because you have refillable. So, why did you buy refillable? Sorry, when did I buy it? Why? Oh, because I just had the extra gold. Okay, it's, it's never worth to buy refillable as jungle. It's very expensive. It's half a kill. Oh, uh, you can do your, you can do dragon here. Just ping dragon. Just don't, do, yeah, don't go mid. Just go to dragon. Oh, it's in your jungle. I have no idea why he's here, actually. Drink your potions. Since you bought them. You can farm your wolves here. Just farm wolves or mid. The XP looks good, too. Go mid, go mid. Mid is three. See if we can help them. Oh, okay, nice, they're good. Go do wolves. Work. Camera top, your spells are down. Yep, for five seconds, you get info. Nothing really. You can probably do the, the grab. Okay, camera top while you walk there, he's dead. Okay. I mean, you shouldn't really do dragon but, or rifts, but since this is low, you probably can. Just do the rift herald after this. Do not go mid. Do not go mid. Just do rift. Use your sweeper and do rift. There you go. Reset after this instantly. You know, I'll go top, you can't really do anything. Let me look at what's happening though, just in case you can help. I guess not. Alright, finish this fast. Oh, Malka is coming to finish this fast. You might just hit the... Oh, uh, you should be good. Smite. Yeah. Alright, you're, you're good. I guess flush, it's unfortunate. Oh, 
It's fine, you bought some time at least. Or buy your Nashers now. I usually go Jack Show after though. No, go Rift Maker. Sell your pot and buy a Ruby. Jack Show's one of the worst items in the game now. Really? Yeah. What happened to it? Gone Rift like four times straight. Okay. Yeah. You got two minutes for plates. What? Bot lane four plates, five. Uh, you probably play for top lane after getting this dragon if you can. If possible, try to get the Rift Herald off top. I mean, your top's kind of 2v1 anyways. Actually, just go put her bot lane now. Since by the time you're up top, probably the tower's gone anyways. Since you 2 v ones Yeah, you can maybe look to tower dive and drop Rift after. After? Yeah. I mean, you got Perma Pro, right? So, kill them, hit the tower, if, and then drop Rift. Let Janna tank. Okay, he wasted R, that's good. That's a big knockup. I guess I should kill both here. Oh, you didn't use your E. That's fine. Mm. I wait for Sorks. Since you have Tenacity Runes and you have Green Smudge, just go Sorks this game. And you'll probably get a Abyssal on 3. Or your Krogs from Abyss. I don't think your Rift is going to crash pre 14, so we'll just keep it for a bit, I guess. Uh, I keep forgetting the. The W team. It's fine. The kicks I'm getting used to. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. That's kind of why I told you to go to your Krugs before red, because the chance could have invaded you. But you just face check instead of throwing a Kyosha, I probably told you to. It's fine. Yeah, path towards top lane here, probably full clear blue side and drop rift top. And just try to get tier 2 with Fiora because she's very fed. He's one of your smites here as well. Yeah, just drop rift like right now. And then you take ground blue and then run top side. Your bot lane would be getting dove mid. Or ganked, I guess. Yeah, they're fucked. It's fine. You might have to hold mid tower though is a thing. That changes now. The play changes when they uh, die. They're kinda running the uh, aggro spot. You definitely die on that. It's fine. You can fight on all this. Uh, if Vlad's recall, you can fight this. You can fight this. Not the wrong target. What should I do now though? This is the point where I don't know what reset. to do when all my camps are down. Reset. You have four kills worth of gold, reset, and go run to Rift from base. Just buy that, yeah, it's fine. 
I run the Rift Herald here. I know Malachi has Red is up as well, but I don't know if you can actually fight that. Just push mid in. Push mid, push mid, push mid. If you want to play for Rift Herald, and your team is two manning bot lane, just do their job. Because Sans going to start taking towers if he's randomly, you know, on top uh -huh. of him. Just fight him. Get some free damage off. Alright, push me and go rift. Alright, after this, I want you to play for the uh, dragon. Yeah, you're probably getting Abyssal Mass third. A lot of magic damage on their team. I'd actually just undo the pink ward and buy Null Mantle. Or a Ruby. You have to wait a bit for it though. Uh, yeah, just buy the Ruby Crystal. Like, I know your Rhythmic will delay, but I'm pretty sure will have a thousand gold off with this dragon fight if they fight. You're pretty strong, still they have a lot of deaths. Gear Raptors will go all the way there. Just I mean, your teammates all reset, right? You don't you should be pushing bot after farming this or like grabbing the crab. Is it crab? Yeah, grab that. There's your thousand gold for Rift Maker. You should have reset, but it's fine. Just farm your camps here. Farm Red Krogs since you get a uh, Null Mantle off them. In theory, you want to get, grab your Red Buff out of base when you have all your gold spent. But since you're close to Null Mantle, it's fine. Uh, Rift Maker and Elemental. And go to Fen Top. Mm. <coughs> He's full lethality, so you can probably just one shot on his keys down, too. Oh, you missed. Just push, no reason to chase, no reason to chase at all, just killing him is nothing. Push another wave, when you catch, when you always push an extra one. Can't do your top side camps. Not the biggest fan of using my Q like that, because you don't have your Q to dash your blue, like to go faster. Kind of like how you Q last hit the, the, the mage creep top side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you got your Gromp later, and then you got your blue later, and you get to clear it all faster. Look mid lane, look mid lane, they're fighting. You can kill everyone here. It's easy fight, go for Azrael. Actually, Vlad is here, it's kind of hard now. Unless you see an angle then.
Um, Okay, good base. Base, base, base. Had a thousand gold. Just walk there. Buy your abyssal. Oh, you're, you're sorry, your specter's gal, and buy another um, HP. Yeah, and leave this. This is three, you shouldn't miss my there's no way. They have no chance to steal it. Check push mid. Go mid, yeah. You want shot towers at this build. You can use your Q for attack speed as well in the tier 3. Keep pushing. You can also like QE the back line when the wave comes and just like clear it faster. To get to the tower faster if there were a wave. Now reset and play for drive. Like their camps are going to work taking at this point. Just reset. Just not even close to level. Buy Abyssal Mask and I guess go Demonic. Buy uh... That's fine. Doesn't matter. You're squishy with blasting one and your tank here with Belt bleed more damage, so they also have no MR, so it's probably better to buy AP. Do buy what, sorry? If they have no MR, it's probably better to buy AP. Okay. But if they had MR then I'd probably buy the belt instead. So not sustain. The game's probably just over anyways. How about your rift I want to see damage on it. It's pretty shit. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. It's shit. Yeah, what about Nashers? That's not bad, I guess. What should I be doing now, though? Mm. What do you think you should be doing? Um. Oh. If I was saying myself, I'd just honestly just farm this jungle or something. They have two inhibitors down, they have one nexus to turret up. And there's no neutrals for four minutes. You should be top lane. Or Fiora should be top lane, doesn't really matter, but... You can side lane easily as Diana. Like, you can kill anyone in side lane right now. You can just go fight the fight mid, fight bot, they're gonna overextend, they're low elo. Like, they're always gonna be overextended. You can ER here. You won't die though. Oh. No, you're fine. I'm oh, damn. Oh. Use your W take less damage and go top. Just go top. Nope, keep pushing. Where are you going? Where are we farming for? You're not even close to demonic. I mean you're close, but like not that close. You always want to push waves over camps always. More temp one map, more gold, more XP. Alright, just go to your top side. Or take, take the Krugs, actually. Hover your Demonic, how much gold do you need? It's like... Yeah, just farm your entire top side and another Krugs, you should have it. Then reset and buy it. Yeah, 
there. I'm gonna have it. It'll be a hundred gold, hundred gold off, but it's fine. It matters that much. I guess run to your Krogs. Do you take Blast Cone and get there a lot faster? Because it's the enhanced Blast Cone. This one? Yeah. That's oh, like, I missed it. My bad. It's like three bad. flashes, basically. Or two and a half. I'm just trying to learn a bit more junglers right now. That's why my match history is like all over the place. Um. Yeah, I mean, your clearing needs a lot of work for sure. Your clearing and your camera management is very subpar. But That's I mean, fair. <laughs> we'll talk about it after the game's over. Look for a flash ER if you see an angle over the wall. Play the pink ward. There's a pink ward over the wall here. You see it? Yeah, play the pink yeah. ward here. And maybe see a better angle if you don't see it. You can flash ER here easily. On Ezreal? No? That took way too long. I think you could have attacked their inhibitors because they're pretty insanely fed. Press tab. You have four items, Ezreal has three, Vlad has three, and they were low. Yeah, you could have gone inhibitor. It's too late now, though. Well, Thanks for the Baron. Low. Well, should be probably pushing top or mid, whichever is more doable. Walking around and not pushing anything and farming Krugs is not the play though, if that's what you're trying to do. What does this accomplish? Why not push mid lane? I, thought, uh, I just thought Malka was walking to it. That's on me. Okay, we'll watch that after the wall. I saw your dark seal and oh, uh, I mean, you can either go press tab. Yeah, you probably just go shadow flame or zonias. Doesn't really matter. Stopwatch if you're going zonias, and then just buy a AP if you're going or HP if you're going shadow. I just walk to it. Um, I just go to Drake. I mean, it's probably gone. I'll just push mid and play for dragon. Your goal should be to kill Ezreal in the fights because you can drain tank the rest of the champs. Actually, Vlad's kind of fed now, too. Oh, Vlad is soloing good. Maybe try to steal it. But they're going to be here first, too. Oh, no, they're in base. You can do it. Don't be afraid of them. Why don't you just go bot lane here? Like, can you not fight Sun 1v1? Then go bot. Well, you're gonna walk on the, the crab. Should've walked through your jungle. Their jungle is too aggressive, but I mean, if you see an angle, there's a blue ward on you there. You gonna try to ult away, maybe? Oh. Your W's up, you should be fine. Sorry? Your W's up, you should be fine. This is probably end. It's 
Is my mic like low or something, or is it cutting off? Or is it still no, no, no. Our Q the way I've just hit the inhibitor, killing this is nothing. Just get through three inhibitors. Go bot lane after this. Don't waste time mid. And when the wave crashes, you can actually end now. We're close to it. It's better guarantee triple inhibitor. Yeah, yeah. I'll read these over while I pull up the VOD. Pull up the VOD? I will read these over while I pull up the VOD. Can you hear me? Hello? Right. Yes. Okay. What are these runes? Uh, Corpus are recommended. Okay. You're playing against basically five AP champions. Okay, four. Three and a half. You have armor runes. You're going a on hit build against multiple tanks. And you have Kugras. Gross. Last stand, HP or MR. That's all I need to change. You can also go uh, debt instead of this because you don't really need flash with this build. This is more like a proto built setup where you want to like, have your flash off cooldown, just like flash uh, back one, like your Yasu or something, etc. Just start a fight. So, work on, change those for future games. Anyways, we'll pull up the VOD. Uh, I need to work on it clear. I need to watch some of my Diana VODs or other Challenger Diana VODs, I guess. Not many people play Diana in, in NA, so I don't maybe pull up like a. Just go on YouTube, search Korea, Diana Jungle, or China, Korea Jungle. Because you made, like, at least two mistakes for your first three camps clearing. So, typically when I hit this, like, I think it's 126 or 125, and then you want to use auto queue. You never leave with your queue, because you, you waste your first auto. Your first auto is free, and your attack speed off your next auto. So, I don't know if, if you play Zin Zhao or, like, Lee Sin, you have attack speed in your, in your kit, right? Zin Zhao has an yeah. E. Lee Sin has his passive when he uses a spell. So you always leave with your auto and then use your spell and down as well. Because your spells give you attack speed. Do you know that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know that. Then why weren't you using your spells when you're hitting inhibitor? I just lost today. Is if you got. Okay, it's fine. Either way, we start the red buff. And we're gonna fast forward through uh, the rest of this vlog, but I want to show the early game. So we pull our red buff. Okay, great. Here you should know your passive kills it, right? Your should, passive yeah. your passive auto kills red buff? Why aren't you already walking to like the Krugs and queuing them and having them walk towards you? You should walk here, queue this and auto this in last hit and just kill them closer to you here. Do you understand that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look what you do instead. It's more efficient to have these walk towards you when you use your last auto to kill this because it'll be closer to you when you walk towards them yourself, right? Because now they're now just starting to walk towards you and the camp starts here instead of like here. You understand? Yeah. So that's the uh, the right to Krugs variation or transition. And here you didn't auto the small one once at all. So typically you want to hit one of each. So here you would hit the, the, the small one at least one time here. So your true damage and your uh, monster tick damage is going to hit as well. But you never auto this. And never gets lined up with your uh, beast this spawn. It should typically get lined. I think it's two autos or an auto and a half or like that. So, And here, your I believe your pass is up again. Just just key. Just key here, have them come towards you. I know like their spawn is RNG, but... It's fine we missed. It doesn't matter. You need to just auto this. This is going to die to your tick. Your tick is 17 damage, right? Why are you using your Q? Just auto this, they both die. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you walk here, you can just throw your Q at the Raptor and pull. Because I typically don't use my Raptor on the big one here, because I'd rather have the small one walk towards me faster. Do you see how it's like a, a game of seconds, like every second accumulates? Mm hmm So when you walk here, you would just Q the, this Raptor and have them all come towards you here. You don't even care about queuing this because you don't have your E yet, so... Now your Q's down, you have to walk all the way and start autoing. I mean, I guess you want to hit the this anyways, but... So, you have your passive. Auto the big one, then auto this again. Auto, auto, auto. 
Like, why are you using your passive auto on the on the ward? If I'm clearing a ward in Baron Pit and I'm hitting Baron, I'm gonna auto auto the ward. If it's a green and then auto Baron, I'm gonna auto this again. Like you're wasting so much DPS and like time. I'm not even counting like the way you use your spells. So I don't think you knew at this point how to clear around Danim, but it's just so much like damage wasted. I could have probably cleared my red side solo faster than you did with the leash this game. I'm not even counting your, your reset. But yeah, this was unfortunate, whatever. Okay. When I say path bot to top, what does that tell you? Look top. The, in the Wait, bigger and my camera top. In the grand Bro. scheme of things. Yeah, I mean top and mid, because your two proximity lanes are top and mid. You should be looking if you have a gank opportunity to gank mid or not. Just because you're clearing bot to top doesn't mean you can just, you know, oh enemy Vlad is one HP under my my tower, he uses pool or something. Maybe I can probably kill him after my my raptors, but in theory, if you're he's full HP, not worth ganking, right? But you need to look at your lanes while you're walking from your, your raptors to your wolves or just when your spells are down. Like, you have to see what's happening on the map. And we know Maokai started bot side as well. You can even look for an invade. If your top's winning hard, if your mid's winning hard, you can even skip your capture and force a fight here. Because, like, I mean, look at the mid, the top, the top game state. Mid is, I mean, losing, but like, it doesn't matter. You have to understand, like, what's happening on the map. You know Maokai's path in top this game? Uh... I don't think we knew who was talking. I mean, you can only assume it's a, it's a gold game in OC, right? So odds are the drummer started bot lane. <laughs> does this does this die? Yeah, it does. Good, we can auto it. That's good to know. Okay, here I tell you again. Look at top lane because if we looked earlier, the wave state was in a good spot for a dive, and the enemy sign was really low. And the thing is, Maokai is also bathing top. I guess I didn't tell you, but I thought it was obvious, but. If he hasn't shown yet at ganking at 3 minutes, then odds are he's passing bot to top. Most junglers will start bot anyways. So here I say look for a play top. Because, I mean, he's so low, right? Hero gets a solo kill and dies to his passive. So my thoughts are, when I told you to go top, it's to cover the Maokai gank while covering Fiora. So after getting the blue buff, you would have been in this area. Let's say this did never happen, they're still fighting under tower. Your goal is to invade Maokai and make sure Maokai can be in the play. Because your top is winning 1v1, right? So you want to be on their side of the map aggressively while, you know, uh, pressuring the Maokai and, you know, pressuring the dive at the same time. So in this scenario, you would have skipped your, your Gromp and gotten here and then fought Maokai. Granted, some junglers will clear a lot faster and they'll be better at, you know, better junglers and just clear faster, efficient, like players, I mean, speaking. So... Most of the time, these crogs are already gone by the time you're there because you cleared so slowly. And that's why every second counts to the, leading up to this play. Because if I'm in this game and I did every camp you did, I'd probably be uh, here right now. Or even like further beyond. Actually, I'd be probably I'd be fighting Malachi, right? I'm pretty sure. Because I can full clear like down Diana? the list. Huh? Like, oh, okay. So in this scenario, you're Diana. Yeah, if I was a Diana who got like the leash you got and then I, I'm clearing bot to top, I'd be like 10 to 15 seconds ahead of you right now or even more. Granted, your Raptors reset too, right? So, I mean, a lot more seconds were wasted. But, here's the play. I mean, I understand I'm in your ear telling you what to do, but, like, the play is going to change. Just because I told you to make a play doesn't mean you have to stick with that play. Every second the play changes. I said go top. Fiora died or, or, and killed Sion. The play's over, right? You have to crash the wave. You have to go do your Gromp for four. Do you play for the Crab? You have to, all these things change. My mid laner die. Can I go mid lane? Etc. Every play is going to change second by second. Just so this is why like I'm not the biggest fan of like telling people what to do. Cause I want to see how they actually interact with the uh the in-game stuff. And now here, we're gonna see Maokai throw a sapling. And you know they have mid-prio. Where are you going? You already won the, the play, you got the free crab, and you found their jungler. Why are you going through this side? I said fight him if you hit Q. First of all, you're cutting the wrong way. You should be cutting towards the left because this is your strong side of the map, right? Fiora should be TPing, I, I guess. I guess not really. It's slow push into her, but because the wave never crashed. But like, you can still fight this guy in River. I know he has water walking, phase rush, but you can chunk him for free and then do your gromp and heal off of it. Because if you chunk him, he has no camp up, but you have a camp up, right? So you can actually heal off your camp. You can't heal off anything he has to reset. So you probably won't kill him here. You might burn a flash, but you walked right. AK the wrong side of the map where your mid laner got solo killed and you have Pryo on. 
They don't have Pryo top, their top is way slow pushing. You definitely fight this guy in river here. You probably won't kill him, but like once Q's missed, just leave. It's fine. Walk <laughs> use walk towards your base. That's all you gotta do. When I said fight him, I mean if your Q hits, fight him. If your Q misses, you're not a champion. You can't just E on him, you're dead. Do you see like how the play changes every single time I say something? You have to be able to like absorb the information and make a play from there on every second things change. You understand that? <laughs> and here you're just like walking towards Vladimir and then you're like, oh wait, I can't, and you walk back into him. And now you're now you can't kill him because this whole team is here and your red buff dropped as well. So luckily for us we got a kill, but this could have been a disaster. But yeah. The biggest thing from watching you is your camera management, your clearing efficiency, your saving seconds. Um, we'll talk about the late game recall and then we'll watch the uh, the most important parts of this game. So, out of base here, we go towards our Krugs, right? We got our Krugs. Maokai's about to show bot lane and he shows bot lane. So, what's the easiest way to counter gank this, you think? When all your teammates are involved, right? Yeah. So why not just walk here, where the well, tower is? I, I think I saw him walk into the try. Why does that matter? That's why. Why? Because does... then we collapse on, on him in the try. What item does this guy have? Giant spell. Is he even get to focus Malk on the situation? Nah, the Ezreal. Ezreal or Nautilus is fine. I mean, yeah. Ezreal does zero damage. I think Nautilus is more damage than Ezreal. So, Nautilus will see his jungler coming. He might look for a flash play, and then you're here to press Q E, and he's dead. But issue is, you go in the river or the try. When we see where he is, and sure it's 2v1, but like, what if you were just here, this play would be so much more, like, better. Because then you can play off your ADC's damage rather than your support's damage. Do you understand that? Yeah. Not It's not like okay, a hindsight yeah. play, I didn't see Nautilus do this, but like, Nautilus is the target to kill here, or the Ezreal, who are past your creep wave. And if you're here, then you can defend the better play. This Malka isn't dying, he has 30, 1200 HP. We're sure you can hit him to stack your Conqueror, that's great, right? I mean, this fight would have been a disaster if their support just exhausted earlier, but our support didn't use it, so. Either way, you understand, like, it's better to just play the the ADC side rather than the support side. Unless this is like on, on a Mumu or something, or like a really strong early game support, Thresh, whatever, right? Leona. But it's a Janna. You're covering the Janna lane rather than the Caitlyn lane, which is most of your early game damage, because your champ doesn't do that much unless I've Conqueror stacked. Okay, we come out of base. We get our Raptors. Okay. Why are you walking mid lane? Is it because Fizz is pinging? I think so. Okay. Do you think you can kill this guy? Nah, you, no you way. You have an amp to him, dark seal, and dagger. You have two camps and your red buff spawning. And your bot mm -hmm. lane has to reset. So their support can even be mid lane as well, because he reset first, right? So how's yeah. this a good play? And this guy's taking six years to shop, but you get the point. Their jungler can be <laughs> mid, their support can be mid, out of base. I mean, by the time Vlad will buy like 30 seconds worth of time before he actually even kill him, so like he'd be here in time. Either way. You get the point, right? Yeah. Why are we going mid lane? We can't do dragon, red buff's not up, just farm top to bot, play for dragon. Or if you want to play for top gang, you will drop top. I think I chose to go for scuttle actually. What scuttle? Like, what does scuttle crab accomplish? Even if the level 1 crab is up, what does it do? Nothing. It gives 80% less XP than it used to, and it gives gold, sure. These camps give you more gold and more XP, so why aren't you doing these instead? I typically even skip level 1 crabs, just get my level 4 gromp or my level 4 krugs out of the way faster. Because you have way more XP. So it doesn't do anything. Like level 1 crab is... Is a level 4 crab? Sure, I understand. Or the other. Like now the crab spawning top, which says... This crab is gone, right? I don't know if it's like a replay thing. Or like, I, I mean, maybe your team ever had vision in a river here to see that the crab was gone. But on the replay, it says crab is spawning top. And no one... I guess no one had vision of block crab. Either way, you get the point, right? It's not even worth it. But yeah. That's like pretty much the early mid game. And then here I tell you, we see Malachi bot, so go to his top side, right? And now that you're in his top yep. side, the same thing applies. This is our uh, blue side vision, we just saw him here, right? 
Can I gank mid? Can I cover the dive? Can I dive top? Can I gank top? Like, all these things have to come to mind. What's the best, most probable play at me ahead? There's nothing really happening right now. Maybe a mid dive, but I mean, this guy's already getting destroyed. Who cares? He's zero two. Take his Raptors. Okay, I took his Raptors. Now what? Has anything changed? Look at mid lane. No, same thing. Look at top lane. Oh, Son is one health. Did you see this guy be one HP? No, I didn't. Okay, so if you did, you would have ran top, right? I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so work on your camera management. That is your biggest issue and your clearing. Yeah. Because here you can literally just blast Kun over and base, like here I have to make a decision. Do I have enough time to farm the Krugs before the wave crashes or can I just kill him top and then grab the Krugs? Or can Maokai like be here miraculously out of base, right? Yeah. So that just comes down to game state and how good enemy jungler is, etc. But from the looks of things, you made a mistake here, and you should have just taken a blast cone and then killed him. Because your Fiora misplays and uh, ends up dying here. She didn't have parry up, she parries nothing. And yeah, you're still on fucking Krugs when this guy's 1 HP in her tower with no spells up. And then he dies. Again, like this is... Fiora is hard winning lane, you are not contributing at all. You're getting Krugs instead of killing the 1 HP son in her tower that has no flash. No ult, and he's queuing the enemy, your enemy laner, your, or your teammate. And here you kill him, but he has passive, then you die. So, I mean, do you see, like, how all these small things accumulate and, like, the butterfly effect comes into play? Every single play you make a small, like, mistake and just keeps accumulating and adding on to each other. Doesn't matter, you're playing mid-game and late-game fights better. Honestly, you're, I think your top and bot were a lot better than theirs. Your mid was worse, sure, but if your team wasn't better, I don't think you would have gone back in this game with how things were looking. So, it's a lot of things to work on for sure if you're early mid-game and you're clearing, etc. But yeah, we're going to skip over the more important stuff now. Or like the last important stuff. I think most of the important stuff has been said. Okay, we have bot prio. Our ADC is fed. Press, always press tab before the dive. See how, you know, what items they have. How much gold are they sitting on, etc. If you press tab and you see Ezra has Sheen Warhammer at fucking 13 minutes, he probably has a shit ton of gold if he has two kills, right? He probably has like one K gold plus, okay? Vlad is yeah. mid. <laughs> Your top winner is just 2v1s, right? Okay, let's see how we play this. So far, so good. They use their ults on... I mean, you should have probably channeled your Q at the same time as the, the Janna Tornado, but that's okay. Right here, you had your Q up while Janna's tanking. You don't do that. She walks out of tower. Now you drop your Q, so this is a mistake. You can definitely channel your Q during that. Now you're going to tank tower and you ult. Which, I mean... It ends up being two for one, and you get the get several plays for your bot lane, but we don't drop the rift before. I told you not to do this because I don't think you ever die here. Like, when you're like level, what level is this? You're like level eight or nine here? You're tower diving bot. At this point, your bot lane's winning this hard. I don't think you can ever actually die. So, I guess like, I mean, it's like a team play here where like Janna aggro tower a bit earlier, or like you like didn't get your Q off to like be able to just go on them instantly after she drops aggro, but... That's going to take some team coordination. That's not really something I, I like coach on. That's more like individual play. So, but I mean, it's still a winning play, is which I have to understand. You know, you died. You guys got fucking yeah. infinite plates and they both died. Okay. What do you see here? Malkai will let me. Yeah, your entire team in ping is pinging that Maokai can be at your red. So here I said, do your Krux first. You didn't buy a pink core. I don't know if you had gold or not. You don't You don't have that, so no. And your team pings on your red. So we start our Krugs. Great. The issue is, I mean, I guess you want to use your Q to last hit, but like you're, they've been spam pinging that they can be here. There's always a possibility that they're here, right? Yeah. If they're not here, does it kill you to throw a Q to check this brush? No. I mean, honestly, if they're here and you're walking this angle, you're probably about to flash W for Malachi or like an R. But either way, I don't understand. Like, it's sometimes better to just like waste a couple seconds to be safe when your teammates are on the map rather than just like face checking and like, you know, like this happening. So, I mean, your teammates spam pinged it. There's always a possibility. Maybe they're wrong. Maybe they're right. I don't know. But you can still look for ways to prevent it. Use your Q. Um, other junglers have different means to like, you know, other champions have different means to like prevent that or have a lower chance of dying on this. So you spawned and you die, which is really bad. I mean, not the best.
Here we come out of base. I think we fight our top side a bit. Yeah, we fight our top side. There's a dive mid. Can you come to this play? Probably not, right? And then I think our top player is pressuring hard. I tell you to drop rift top, which is really good. I don't even think you're allowed to walk this way. I'm going to be honest. Should have walked this way. You have to understand, like, they're, they're strong side mid right now. Are they not strong side? Like, do you not see the strong side from enemy team? Your Caitlyn's dead dead mid prior. They're in your jungle. You can't walk. If Malkai is here, you're dead. Or you're burning flash. He just presses W on you here. Because you don't you even see them. You don't see Malkai. And this guy walked forward and you still walk towards him. If they're in this brush, you're dead. But this is lower elo. You're not punished. He, like, he thought about it later, but it was too late. He just pulled the trigger too late. We catch mid lane. So you only fight this if Vladimir gets recall off. Why? Because San's dead. Ezreal's bought. Three people put potential here. No TP, only Ezreal ult can like participate, right? So once this guy leaves, we go in, we hit our EQ. So I'm not the biggest fan of focusing Nautilus, obviously, but since your Q hit him, in theory, you should probably E on top of him so your E is in reset. Did you not notice your Q did hit him? Hit him? I thought it hit him, but it didn't. Okay, well, either way, you didn't hit the Q on that guy. Again, this didn't affect this fight, but other fights can be affected, right? It's just. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff like this that can make the game harder. Wait, can you explain strong and weak side real quick? Uh, we're gonna I get to that. Really a player. You're gonna see it in a second here. It's a very simple concept. Here we fight the song. He over so we're extended, he's squishy, we kill him, great. Then here I tell you to start the rift herald because we got mid prio. We start rift. They push mid lane. You have no idea we're on Rift Herald. So your eye should be on Maokai here. You saw him enter through bot side. Your camera was not on Maokai here. You really like you weren't even like aware of what's happening. But I honestly saw Maokai walk here. The moment they push mid lane, look at Maokai's bot. Like your camera shouldn't even be. Look where this guy's going. This is blue vision. This is not red. This is blue. Why is your camera not like looking? Like, is Maokai going here? Is he going here? Is he going here? We don't know. There's a word here, luckily, but is just throwing saplings for fun? Oh, he's here. You should already be fucking ready to kill him. You gave the Rift Herald to this guy. You even pick it up, so you should be here a lot faster. Your reaction time is very slow. Your map control is very slow as well. But I mean, play works out. But again, game of seconds. It could go not as well. And I think you actually die here. Yeah. So. Maybe that extra two seconds of, of you being there faster, Vlad doesn't kill you. I don't know. Okay, and here's the, the strong side, weak side pull I was talking about. Okay. Let's go back a bit. So typically the game is in higher like competitive play or like higher levels of play, you'll see one through one is like the most standard because most, most mid tops have TP. This game only top laners have TP. Fioras and stop on the you can kill anyone in this game. Uh, whereas Fizz is probably just the both because he's really, really behind. So in theory, their their top side has perma prior, or whoever is playing against Fizz has perma prior, and whoever's playing against Fiora has uh, no prior. Now it comes down to mid lane. You guys have prior three v three. In theory, with Caitlyn, Jana, Diana against Maokai, Ezreal, Novice, I'd say yes, you do have prior. Let's say if they if they, if they TP's out of the context, right? Like no TP's from either team, you guys should have prior because Caitlyn out pushes Ezreal out ranges or whatever, or him. But sometimes it depends. The player's a lot more passive. I don't know, right? Either way, Maokai shows mid lane first, throws his ultimate. And Caitlyn somehow walks in, or Janna walks in and dies, right? Okay. Now their mid lane is strong side. They're 3v2. You're pretty strong though, however, so you can actually maybe fight this because you use so much on Janna. You have 2k gold on Maokai. However, Vladimir shows on this word mid lane. They're, they're overloading mid lane. You understand that concept? Yeah. They have four people mid lane. Unless you're very fed and very confident of four versus two, unless, again, not counting TPs or globals, then this is a losing play. So your goal now is to A... Defend this tower if needed, right? Because they're going to make a play. B, farm your camps, which again, it's probably one of the worst plays you can make is like right now they have four people mid lane in a low game. They're probably going to go for the tower for the dive. Or C, make your own play. So you're pretty far from bot lane. There's nothing bot lane either, right? So let Fiora do her own thing. Your alternative is just getting top lane before the, the wave crashes mid lane because your wave is here, which means their wave is also here, correct? So you have a timer to yeah. You have a timer. You have a decision to make. And uh, let's see what you do. Yeah, 
If Malka's flush, you're dead here. Do you agree? Yep. And you can maybe lose Baron if your top doesn't have TP. Does your top have TP? No, she doesn't. You guys, you nope. already lost the game here if Malka has flush. 100%. I don't know if how dumb they are to not do Baron after killing you here, but I'm pretty sure you lose the game here. You're pretty fed. You can probably kill the Maokai. I don't know. It's really like a, it's really close, but it's like, why even put yourself in this position, right? Mm -hmm. You could have probably defended this wave. It's just three mages and a melee, no cannon. But like, you have to make your own play, right? You can't defend mid? Okay, sure. Go make a play top. Their top's gonna be a fucking monkey. Kill him. Oh, look. Free kill. Just like that. Meanwhile, Fiora's gang inhibitor. They got tier two. It's still a winning play, even though, you know, there's an overload from enemy team. They can't do that against Fiora. Well, who's it? That's this fat, right? So, you understand it now? Yeah. But typically, like, the, the solo queue term of, like, weak side, strong side is, like, you have a tank top versus, like, a carry top, and then your bot lane's, like, super prio heavy, like, Caitlyn Lux versus, I don't know, Ezreal Karma, and you want to just, like, pressure that lane, make sure they can't just, you know, scale for free, and come to the point where they just, like, hard outrange your bot lane, so. And, yeah, that's pretty much most of this session. At this point, I think here is one time where, like, 100 gold off your items, like, why is there... Can your mid lane, can your teammates in the game mid lane without you? There's a chance. It's very low, but there's a chance, right? Mm -hmm. Ping your gold. Ping, you need 100 gold for demonic. Type it in chat. Like, ping them back. There, there's nothing to fight for here. Their whole team is up. You have your four item spike after your Krugs. Just ping them. They could actually die here. It's 4v5. You're not going to be on the map for another, like, 40 seconds. If they get hooked here and shit, like, Maokai almost got a pick here. Could have been... I mean, granted, you guys are so ahead, they can't get anything out of it because there's no neutrals up. But, like, even then, ping your team. I need my item. Like, right? Type, ping, whatever. And here, like, uh, you pull, you didn't pull the trigger here on the pink where I told you to play off of. And then you said Maokai was here. So let's see this. So I'm really eager to see how you think Maokai could even do anything if you were to even go to lane. So here, I tell you, just look for a flash ER. I'm pretty sure you have the angle right now to fucking kill three of them. I, I mean, I don't think you know how fed you are. Do you know how fed you are? To some extent. You have four items. Who has four items in this game? The 14 kill Fiora, and one of them are GA, that's very cheap. Fizz has two items. Caitlyn has three items. You have the most items on your team. And guess what? You're only down a thousand gold on Fiora. Their jungler has two items. Their top winner has three items. Their mid has three items, and AD has three. You are the strongest person on the map alongside Fiora. So, and you're also level 17, bear in mind. So I, I don't know like what you're afraid of to flash ER and one shot their entire team here, but that's fine. Play the, just play the wall here. You don't even have, if it's a bad fight, don't go. But like you're so ahead and they're so like clumped up and overextended. Look at Ezreal, he Eden by the way. You're telling me you can't, you can probably can just flash and get on top of that imagine, without even having to use E here. But you're playing so passive. So it's fine. We decided to like, okay, this is not our timer. Fine. And then here it's like, why are you even going mid lane when bot inhibitor's up? Or sorry, bot wave is near the inhibitor, and then I guess Baron's spawning. So, in theory, you could push a bot wave here, reset, push top. Because then you get prio bot and top for Baron. Because you have to catch wave bot, right? These waves gives you temp give you tempo to do things. But in theory, in lower elo, it's just so much easier to get away with this stuff. As in, like, you know, you can skip, like, walking their jungle and dropping wards and clearing their wards and making the same play and going back and doing the same thing. But... Just push waves in. Like, Diana is very good at side laning with this build. And I only saw you side lane once this entire game, which I wrote down. Like, side lane as in 1v1, not like, you know, pushing the wave in. I think it's a time where they get Baron or something, right? And here you said, Maokai is here. Where is Maokai? He's dead. This is Nautilus. Can Nautilus and Ezreal kill you 2v1? If nope. you get shot in the head in real life, maybe. That's probably the only way. You're telling me you can't push mid lane, you're up three levels, you have four items, this guy has three items. You can't push this wave? Guess what, they're yeah, not even yeah. pushing the next wave, and Vladimir's bot. Who's killing you? The air? The best time to push a wave in is the moment you can, you can push it in, like the moment it gets closer to you, right? Look at this wave. They didn't push mid lane, which they never will in this elo, push mid. Wait here for the wave. Fucking just S key here and wait for the wave. But then we lose tempo. And then... What does, what does S key mean? S key is when you stand still. Okay. I see. But yeah, and then I don't know why we're doing this red buff. 
We didn't push top, we didn't push bot, we didn't push mid, we're just doing red buff for fun. And we go on the, the tank support for some reason, instead of the, you know, Ezreal, which I mean, ends up being good, we get a free kill, and then we just keep chasing, instead of walking left, where, you know, their whole team is fucking up now, and then we walk into their fog of war, and San Q just fucking one-shots us. So, the, the San kill is good, even though we probably shouldn't kill him, you can still walk left here. And then this play almost lost you the game, but if you are and you are so fed, it doesn't matter. So yeah, uh, who can stop you this game on side lane? Give me a name. Who can kill you in side lane? No one. Okay. Really? Who, can kill, who can kill Fiora on side lane this game? Long V1? Yeah. I don't think anyone. Yeah, so 1-3-1, the game's over. Literally, the game would've been over 10 minutes earlier if you just went top or bot, and then Fear went the opposite plane. The game would've been over, like, 10 minutes ago. And then the first time I see you go to a... It's like, right here. We got Dragon, and it's like, okay, where's the bot wave? We don't really see it. Someone's about to catch bot lane? Scion? Oh. Why don't we just walk bot lane? Go here. Go here. Because, you know, Vlad stole the crab. Just walk this way. And then play this angle. And when he walks up, kill him here. Right here. You see my mouse? You see my, you can see my mouse, right? Yeah, I can, I can see your mouse. Okay. So why are you going to their jungle when you have no idea where they are? And the game is, like, actually... I mean, you have soul. Like, it's lose, it's not losable, but it's, like, it's still losable in, like, other games. He's playing fucking Scion. He's gonna, he thinks he's the boss. He's gonna keep pushing. Look at him. Look at him. He's gonna, he's gonna stop pushing, you think? <laughs> no! He even saw you on the crab, I'm pretty sure. Oh, sorry, you skipped the... You dodged the crab, sorry. But you understand, right? Yeah. If you're strong and no one can 1v1 you, play side lane. Champs like Diana can't really push mid lane now because they're melees, unless you throw like a Q and like, I don't know, your teammates hit the way for you, but like... So why, like, it's the only, only reason Graves is good. He can get mid pile that other junglers can't get. But yeah, that's your session for today, so... Read over everything we went over. I mean, definitely a lot to work on. But I mean, your mm -hmm. team fighting, your mechanics are fine, so. Yeah. Any, other, any other questions or things you want to go over? Um, I think that's all right for now, I guess. Just, I need to, I think you're right about checking my map a little more. You think I'm right? Ah, oh, you're right. My bad, bro. My bad. All right. Have a good one, All man. Right. Best of luck. You too. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you as well. Take care, bro.